Hey guys, Fumbleek here today and welcome back to Prison Architect. Oh boy, it has been a long time since we played this and it's like so much has changed that I'm not even sure that I'm gonna understand all of it. Like, since we last played it, the game is being acquired by Paradox, the same people who published City Skylines. It's now developed by Double Eleven, who was originally doing the console ports of this game, and it has a new DLC that was originally only on console that Introversion, for some reason, never wanted to do on the PC. I don't know, but I'm just so glad that Paradox got this, and they're now updating it. There's new content, there's a whole bunch of stuff since the last time we played this that we haven't done yet, and I'm excited to play this again. I hope you guys are excited to watch this again because we're going to get straight into it. So just the other week, uh, there was a whole update here with just so many things that I didn't think I would ever see in this game, like new walls and floors. But apparently there's been there's been a few other updates before this one. Like there's a bunch of stuff in this one. And then there was like, that's the sneezer update. I think before that there was some other update. I don't know how to get to it. Oh, here we go. The, the slammer update was before that. Like there's new floor types in that as well. Like there's just so much stuff. And I didn't even know that this was happening. So I'm really excited for this. We're gonna go ahead and create a new prison. Oh, it's even got little stars that show me what's new. Jungle plot, snowbound plot, desert plot. What is all this? <laughs> this is awesome. I love this. So we're gonna go. There's three new wardens just recently with the. I think there might be some other ones that I haven't seen before as well. But with the new DLC, uh, the psych ward, we have these three new people here, and I think we'll just go for Doctor Slugworth because this guy is a psychiatrist. Treatments are 20% more positive, so they're more effective, and also the chance of re uh, receiving the psychopathic criminally insane inmates is higher, which is what we want because that's the new content. So we're gonna check that out, and we can choose our guard dogs. This is great. I'm gonna go for this guy here, a guard's best friend. He looks great, doesn't he? All right, then now for our options, fog of war. I'm actually gonna turn off because you can apparently now you can just toggle that on and off in settings without a problem. So we're just gonna turn that off. Um, and I think, I don't think we'll do any of these specific plots, at least not this time around, because I'm not entirely sure what they do. I kind of just want to go old school. We're going to go for forests and we're going to go for lakes. We're not going to go buildings. We'll have failure conditions. I don't want to do gangs. Criminally insane. We obviously want those guys. I never liked weather and temperature, so I'm not going to do that. Staff needs. I, we, I mean, we might as well do that. That's always good fun. Uh, escape plans. Uh, yes, we'll do that. Unlimited funds, obviously not. Bureaucracy researched. Oh, that's cool. You can start the game with everything unlocked. Obviously, we won't do that. Uh, okay, cool. Those, those will be our options. I don't think we ever played with mutators either, but this was actually in an update back when Introversion still had it. Uh, I think we'll just leave those off. All right, let's see what map we get. Well, isn't that interesting? <laughs> Why? Why? I don't like that. <laughs> uh, I'm going to do a new map that doesn't have the road go through a lake and then have these silly deliveries and garbage areas in the lake, like a square of land. I don't mind the lake like being here. I just don't like how it's done that. Okay, this is a little bit better. I mean, it would have been nice to have a bigger lake, but if we expand the plot, we'll get some more anyway. Okay, so before we get started, I just got to have a look at what's new in this game. And if you've only ever watched this on my channel, this is going to be all new to you too. Like, I don't even know what's in here. Like, we've got this, all these new buttons. More? What does this do? Nothing. Okay, it doesn't do anything. Cool. Wait. I have to click it over here. <laughs> what? Why do I have to click it here? If I try to click the actual button, it's not there. Wait, what? Uh-oh. Okay, so the game is still buggy. That's, uh, good to know, I guess. Whoa, but look at all this! Damn, so many wall types. Oh my, dude, this is awesome. I've never seen all this before. Oh my god, look at all the flooring. Holy crap. Any new rooms? Oh yeah, so this, these are the new rooms that we need for the Psych Ward DLC, so we'll be checking out those. Oh my, look at all the objects. <laughs> they they need to fix this menu at some point. This is not good. Oh, they got a little filter? What does that do? Oh, A to Z? Nice. There's got to be a better way to sort this uh, in this catalog. Oh, planning has doors in it now. Clip. Oh, build plans. Oh, sweet. Okay, so this has changed quite a bit. But what I would usually do is let's go ahead and how do I mm, bulldoze? Here we go. This is what I want to do. I want to remove. Oh, wait, does this work? How do I do this? This is just foundation. Why does the scroll wheel not work in this menu? Okay, apparently you have to click and drag that. All right, so there's so many objects, I have to go all the way down the bottom to get this now. Okay, I'm gonna remove all these trees. Even though the trees look beautiful, they're gonna give us so much money if we like cut them all down and sell them for parts. <laughs> sell them for parts, they're trees. Cut them down, get the logs out of them. And we'll just add a little export area over here so we can actually get 
those logs on a little section on a truck. Uh, okay, so we're just gonna do that. I think I selected all of them. If not, we'll find out later. We'll let them all go and start doing that. In the meantime, let's figure out what we actually need to do. So let's have a look. So we got a new letter from the CEO that tells us all about the criminally insane and everything we're gonna need to do for them. Oh, actually, oh, I should also turn off intake because we are definitely not ready for intake. Let's turn that off. <laughs> Criminally insane, inmates must have padded cells, which is one of the new rooms we have, which are basically standard cells, just a separate room. Make sure you have psychiatrists and orderly staff members on your payroll. Psychiatrists will also require a special office. Set up some psychiatric consultation programs. Okay, so we're gonna do some programs for them. Left untreated and unchecked, criminally insane inmate may exhibit unpredictable behaviors, attempt to break out or turn violent. Orderlies will help escort and heal, and they do not suppress inmates like regular guards. You also need orderlies to fit your psychopathic criminally insane inmates with straitjackets at the day's end. Okay. Criminally insane inmates mixing with others can sometimes lead to trouble. It's a good idea to build and segregate criminally insane sectors to canteens, yards, and other areas. Okay, so they can make other people criminally insane. All right. Finally, inmates from other security levels now have a chance to become criminally insane. So keep an eye out. Okay, good to know. So basically, we're building a hospital. Uh, well, that that's what I'm going to see it as, because I feel like that's what we should do. So let's get all the usual grants we do to start off with, the basic detention center. We're going to need the administration. Wait, we can only take, how many can we take at once? Two. Maybe we should get the criminally insane wing at the same time then. So we'll do that. We'll do these two, get them started, and we can start getting through all this stuff. Right, so we're going to need a holding cell, shower yard, all the, all the standard stuff. So let's get planning. I think we should have a nice little reception area that like looks out over to this beautiful lake here. So why don't we do something like this? This is where we're going to come into the prison. Oh, this is new. Oh, interesting. Uh, oh, I think this is how, okay. So I think if you, so I think because the planning tool's been updated with the build plans button, I think if you click and drag, that's going to plan out a foundation and this is just planning out walls without foundation. Right. Oh, we can plan out doors. Oh, how does this work? Okay, so we go staff door, visitor door, jail door, large jail door. Ah, oh, here we go. Yeah, okay. I don't know which way it's going to open though. But we can plan these out. That's pretty cool. So this is going to be my entrance. You come through here into the, I guess, reception area, which is what this is going to be. We don't even need this room, but that's what we're going to do. I'm going to see if we can plan some offices around here. Well, I guess, well, I should have, I really should have, uh, I should have done the administration center planning, but whatever. All right, so offices, uh, we need them to be at least six by six, because so the middle has to be four by four. So I'm going to get them around the lake here, because it's going to look sweet. <laughs> this is my plan. I don't know if there's water there. I can't tell. Hopefully not, because you can't build directly on water. Oh, wait, why did I do that? Hang on. Oh, I got a little notebook page. Yes! These are just like little Easter egg things, right? I can't really remember what they do, but we've got some of them. There you go. Okay, so we're gonna have a hallway that comes around this way. Then we have three offices hanging out there. Maybe we'll get another one on this side somewhere. They're kind of just, I'm kind of just randomly doing offices at this point. <laughs> it's gonna be an organic, naturally flowing prison, okay? Maybe like here can be storage or something. I don't know or utilities or something like the water or something. I don't know. Look, this is a basic plan and we'll go from there. So this is gonna be our canteen, I reckon, right here. So we're gonna do a canteen. Next to that here will be like the kitchen area. Oh good, the planning tool tells me where water is actually. So that means the other office is fine, okay. So I've just planned out this area here. We've got the kitchen here. I've sort of roughly planned out where the items in the kitchen go. We've got the canteen there. Then I'm just gonna rearrange where the garbage and deliveries are just so it sort of lines up more with all of this. So let's go ahead and go to rooms. I'm gonna go to deliveries and we're gonna move that. I think maybe I'll just put it in this space here. So we're gonna do deliveries there and then we're gonna do garbage on this side. I don't know how much garbage we're gonna have, probably not that much. So that'll go there instead of down there. Then exports, which we lovingly dumped over here for a minute. We're gonna move that up over here, I guess near garbage, maybe just below it. We'll just do a small section here. And then we're gonna have a storage room right behind the exports. So maybe this will be storage, just so we can have everything. So if we have deliveries, we can store it in here or whatever for the time being. So that'll go there. Then we need a holding cell, we need a yard, a kitchen. Well, we got a kitchen, canteen, we got that. So maybe we could have a nice yard that overlooks like the lake area. Oh, that'd be beautiful. That'd be so nice. Maybe we should just build this so we have a good starting point. No, let's not build that yet. I don't trust myself to build that yet. Okay, so we're gonna have canteen. This here will be the yard. As far as I'm aware, prisoners still can't swim. So we should be okay to leave that open to the lake like that. Now, a holding cell for prisoners, we probably want near kind of the front just to sort of process them through. So maybe we'll chuck that down over here somewhere. So we'll say off this hallway here, maybe. It doesn't have to be very big, I don't think. How big is a holding cell? Holding cell, five by five. So this should be plenty big. In the middle is five by six. Perfect. That'll be our holding cell. And then we need a shower as well. Well, that will go near where the cells are. So let's not worry about that yet. 
We need 10 padded cells at least, so maybe we'll work on that. I was thinking we could do, well, I was thinking maybe solitary up over here so it's kind of near the administration and the offices. And then maybe we do the cell back over here so it's kind of the middle of the map so we can sort of quarantine off the outside world. So let's have a look at a cell block that we could build here. So if we do 10 cells like that really easily, then we can do the, the classic, just have the showers at the back. Although if they're criminally insane, should we keep them in their cell with their own shower? It says we have to build a specific shower, but I don't know that I want the criminally insane all showering together. That seems like a bad idea. Oh, you can get a padded holding cell too. That's pretty smart. Which I wonder if that counts as a holding cell. We might have to build a normal one and a non-normal one. Well, I guess we should have a normal section of the prison too, right? Okay, maybe we build this as a normal prison, then we get the criminally insane soon after. But what we'll do, so we'll say this is going to be the shower area at the back. Also, this needs to be part of a building too. So shower area at the back there, we'll figure that out. Uh, and then we will do, maybe this will just be the criminally insane area in general up over here. Maybe we do a holding cell here, and then we get eight padded cells there. Another eight padded cells on top just there. Okay, so this is kind of the layout I've got. I built another cell block down here. I plan another one. This is the regular half of the prison. Got the regular canteen, the regular kitchen, the regular yard. Then we have the criminally insane wing up here where we have the two eight uh, sections, showers top and bottom, kitchen, uh, canteen in there, kitchen there. And then we have, I'm gonna, I was going to use some of these offices here for the psychiatry because that's what we're going to need. So I thought some of those could re be repurposed as that instead of regular admin offices. And then we can do regular admin back over this way. Holding cell will be one of these, like a padded holding cell for those guys. And then I think that's pretty good for now. Then we can obviously add on more stuff as we need to because right now we're not going to have that much money to do a whole bunch of stuff. But I think if we plan this up, well, we've planned it off. If we now use this plan, build it, we should be good. That is what we're going to do. Let's go ahead and build plan. We need to say, choose a wall type. Oh, here we go. Wall type selection. I haven't planned all the doors off. I did some doors around the place, but that's fine. Concrete, brick, perimeter, <laughs> perimeter wall. Oh my God, that's expensive. Barred wall, white wall, tiled wall, art deck. Okay, we need to have a look at these walls because I'm not sure. Oh, the white wall is kind of nice. Barred wall. Okay, actually, what's the price of these? 50 a square. Oh, this hedge is sick. Wall classy green. That's only 50 a square. That's the same as a standard wall. Same with blue. That's twice as much. Oh, they have fence gates now? Oh, sweet. You can actually do a proper like, gate in a fence. Oh, look at all these now. This is so cool. I can't believe they added all this stuff after all this time. I like the wall classy green. Let's do that one. Wall classy green. Okay. Uh... Custom planning. That's only 11,000. That's pretty good. All right, now we just wait until it's all built, I guess. Oh, wait, there goes more money. Wait, custom plan- Wait, did I get money for that? Wait, why did I get money for custom plan- Hang on, I'm confused by that. I thought I was spending money, but apparently I got money for doing that. How am I making money? Cash flow 30. Oh, I guess we're exporting logs. That's how I'm making money. Sorry, of course. Of course. But I'm not sure how the planning gave me money, but... You know what? That's fine. If it gives me money, then I'm cool with that. Wait, no, our exports are separate. We are actually just, our general cash flow is $35 every hour, which I'm not even sure. How are we making that money? Because like, if you click on it, we can't see because we need an accountant, but whatever. Well, we're making money, so who cares? That's pretty good, right? Oh, here we go. Minus 41 cash flow. Finally lost a bit of money. <laughs> That's okay. Um, so I could have hired more people, but I figured there's not really much point. They're still, they still got to cut down all these trees as well. So I might have to just sit here for a while while they catch up. Because we're building all of this. They're going to cut down all the trees. I also haven't planned off exactly where all the offices are going to go and also like utilities and that. But I figure once we get the basic structure down, we'll start planning out a bit more of it and see where it all fits. Oh, they're nearly done with this structure. Uh, they do have a door in it, right? Yeah, so if there's a door, it should build the whole thing. Here we go, right? Oh no, they're not done yet. Hello? Nope, oh, there's a little bit left here because I guess there was a tree there. <laughs> come on. Oh! Oh, come on! What is this? Are we removing this? What's happening? Because I would like a wall there, please. Oh, there's all our expenses for concrete. What is going on there? How, why are we spending it all now? <laughs> oh, here we go. Oh, there goes my money. There it is. All right, here we go. Now, can you build that wall, please? I should have turned auto light off because now it's just placed lights randomly everywhere. I forgot about that. Oh, well. Anyway, there it goes. There it goes. Slowly but surely spending all my money. Although it's actually, we still have 73,000. It hasn't actually spent that much. Okay, I'm going to need them to like, oh, I wanted you to, can we not remove this? Is this, oh, there we go. Okay, they finally built the wall. Great. 
Oh, we have a little lineup of trucks going almost off the map here. They're waiting to unload. We got the little truck drivers slowly unloading. There's not a lot of room here for all this stuff, but that's okay. It's going to take us a few thousand years to build all of this. Okay, so I'm going to want a utility room uh, with a power station and all that. And then we're still going to want more staff offices. So we might need to... Let's just expand here and also out the front. I'm just going to build up this whole area because we're probably going to use it and then I'll plan it later. Oh, I couldn't do it because it was like technically intersecting the previous section I just built. Okay, well, whatever. I kind of want to... Okay, so number one, these guys are all trapping themselves in rooms as they build them like idiots. Uh, number two, I was going to say, I kind of want to use some of the new doors because we got all these different colored ones now. The normal one is 200. Are these the same price they are? Let's use yellow stripes maybe? Solitary door, secure door. I guess it's, oh, there's a visitor door now? Oh, that's so cool. That's awesome. Um, okay, well, I think we'll use a yellow stripe one for the criminally insane because that will be cool. So let's do that <laughs> because it will be cool. That's why. So I'm just going to put these in. I'm building manually. We could do the cloning thing these days. Do I want a door here or is that going to be too much? Like, do we need this many doors? Yeah, let's do it. <laughs> do we need this many doors? Yeah, why not? Okay, all my workers are now stuck in rooms like idiots. This guy's stuck down. Okay, I don't think we need a door for the shower, so I'm actually gonna say uh, walls and I like how it doesn't even fit on the screen. Demolish walls. Yeah, that one there, please. And same with this one here. Get rid of that. And then I don't. Is, oh, this guy's <laughs> idiot! Idiot! This guy's trapped over here, which I think will be a regular. No, it'll be like a. Um, uh, well, we'll just use a regular door because I think it'll be a psychiatrist's office. So we're just gonna want them to be able to go in there. I assume we. Uh, should just use a regular door for that? I don't know. Anyway, let's hope that they don't trap themselves anymore. Anyone trapped down here? This guy looks okay for now. <laughs> I don't know. Apparently they can't get to any of these, but they should be able to now, I guess, right? I don't know. Let's find out. All right, so they finally built this section over here as well on day four. They're still cutting down trees, by the way. We haven't actually finished that job. I was just trying to get them to do this first. All right, let's have a look at our utilities. I want to plan these out and figure out where they're actually going to go. So our power station can be up to five by five, but I probably want a bit of space around it just so it looks a bit nicer. So we'll say it's going to be here. Then we could have a wall around it like that. And then this could actually be a hallway, although it doesn't go to anywhere, so maybe not. I'm honestly thinking maybe we just d dismantle this section here that I've done because it doesn't really make any sense anymore. I kind of regret doing that. So let's actually remove all of this. Okay, that's a little bit better. Now let's plan this out. So we'll have, I still think the power station there is good. Maybe we just do it like this instead. So we kind of have this weird hallway here that's not actually really needed, but it just means that this is still symmetrical and lined up in the middle to have a hallway here. But I guess we could use this. It just has like a buffer. So this could just be a visitor entrance area or something. I don't know. Uh, so, but we can do a six by six office there. We can do another one here. And actually we can fit a bunch of them around here. Oh, this is way better. This layout makes way more. Yeah, oh, this is like perfect, except for these two, which is slightly different. Maybe we do something different there. But that's like perfect for four offices right there. Oh my Lord, that's so good. And then, so the actually the water pump could be here. It's three by three. I mean, the room is a little big, but it could go in there. We extend a hallway here, have a door here to the water pump. Then we can have a different room up over this side. I don't know what it could be. It could be anything. I could, I mean, we don't need all these one gap things around all these rooms that I'm doing, but I'm just doing it because it looks nice. Right, okay, so this is the, all this area built now with a few offices and the water pump will go in there. Let's actually get these things in so we can see. It's like pitch black in this place. We don't have any water. We gotta get all this stuff in anyway. Still day four, we've been playing for 43 minutes already. So maybe we should actually get stuff going now. <laughs> so I'm gonna run this power cable down the hallway as per usual. Uh, up through all these areas and hopefully that should start getting things lit up into the canteen, into the kitchen, into each of these little offices which don't have doors yet so we're gonna have to go back and do all that. Oh, there's a guy stuck down here. Okay, that's a classic. Uh, so that was gonna be a... I think that was gonna be a holding cell, wasn't it? So let's get a, let's get a jail door on that one. Uh, so this is the regular inmates. Uh, so maybe we'll just do... Let's do grey stripes just because it's still fun, you know, it's still something new. So, okay, can you build that first so you can get out? Thanks. Uh, and then all these rooms, this is gonna be storage. I'm wondering if we just do, so just do a door here from the main area. That's probably the way to do it. And then a door to the canteen. We'll go to this end, because I mean, they're all gonna come from this way anyway. So we'll just do a door right there. These are all still open. That's all good. We kind of just need this all to be put in now and get it all uh, like lit up and see how many capacitors and all that stuff we need. But it's all looking pretty good. I mean, they're all still working on trees, but. Uh, <laughs> If we could get this half done first, that'd be great. Thanks, guys. Okay, 
Switch on! Do we have enough power? No, we do not. Okay, that really could not power everything at all. So let's get... Well, we have one free capacitor. Let's get that on now. Is that enough? Yeah, there we go. That's, that's enough. Oh, yeah, look at this place. Now, now we're talking. So now we can also see that we have a few places that still need lights. Like, this room doesn't have a light. This room doesn't have a light. The showers down here don't. I don't think that either of these cells do either. All the ones up here. And also all those cell blocks haven't even been built yet. Also, we really should get a pathway built here because I always walk really, really slow to get in the front of the building. But now we have all these new floors. Oh, sandstone. Walk speed normal. Are there ones that are like fast? Oh, limestone. Oh, indoor only. Cargo floor. Oh, there's so many cool floors in here now. But the, my problem I'm having is... Almost none of them are for outdoor. Oh, here we go. Out oh, well, that's boring. Though. Luna. All the outdoor ones are actually kind of lame. Like, we ba basically, the best one is either paving stone or concrete tiles. We need more outdoor tiles. But anyway, we'll put these here. Indoor, though, we got so many options now. But most of them are pretty... Oh, the checkered one is only $10 a square. Hell yeah, we're doing checkered floor tiles in here. <laughs> this is going to be a bit much, I reckon. I want them to do it. Do it now. Come on. Oh... That actually, you know what? I kind of like the look of that. That's a nice classic looking prison right there. Added a couple of capacitors there, connected up the water pump. And that's looking pretty good. I definitely want to do tiles throughout the, well not these tiles, but flooring throughout the whole place to make it look nice too. But anyway, let's get back to what we're actually doing here. Uh, <laughs> let's get back to actually, you know, playing the game. I'm going to expand the foundation here because I didn't account for the fact that I might... Oh, you know, we don't need a hallway there. Let's not do that. Let's go objects. We're just going to need, I oh know, walls and doors. Regular jail doors here. No, let's do the, the gray stripe ones. Here and here. So we can actually get into all of these cells. And then we're gonna need these doors on every single cell as well. And now they can actually start building these cells as well, I assume, right? Are they gonna get the materials for it or like... Are these just plans that aren't built? I think they might be. I think I might have cancelled it by accident. But that's okay, I'll just rebuild them. Alright, that's looking better. Now let's also get some power cables running down here. Oh, we also have no door from the canteen to get out the back here either. Look, there's a whole lot of things we still need to do. Like, we're still- we're still at the beginning. We've barely done anything. So let's go ahead and get some more doors we're gonna need. We'll do the grey door there. Can we get them to build that now, just so you can actually go through this way? And then I'm gonna want to get a fence along here, so we can actually, you know, have this secure to some degree. And get some pathways along here so they can walk a little bit faster it would make sense. I guess I can just go all the way up to that building. I don't know where that will go, but for now we'll go there, and that's fine. You know, we'll make it look nice, we'll put some grass down all over this, I think it'll look great. So now let's just make sure they do all of this before they cut down the rest of the trees, because that's still taking all of their time, is doing all that stuff. Also, we need cleaning cupboards, which I think that will make a cleaning cupboard for all of this, so we can get a janitor in this place, because it's disgusting. And then, I guess over here we can do some more buildings down over here. But let's start getting the rooms in that we actually need. So we need a holding cell, just a regular one, so we're gonna get that over here, like we always planned. And let's get the objects that we actually need for that. So we're gonna need a... Oh, there's a bench small now? Oh! Dude! Oh! This is all new to me. So what do we need in here? Hang on, what do we need? I always forget. A toilet and a bench, that's literally all we need. Okay, cool. Dude, we're gonna get some bench smalls. Yeah, and then we're gonna put a toilet in the middle just to annoy them. <laughs> so if you want to go to the toilets, in the middle of all the benches. We also need to get all the plumbing through here, but we'll get that done when we know it's gonna go. Oh, light! F there's floodlights now? A tall outdoor light that can cover areas such as yards. Oh my lord, that's awesome! Dude, there's so much stuff that's been added. I can't believe there's so much that I have never seen. Alright, shower, yard, kitchen, canteen. Let's start doing all that stuff. So, this outdoor area here is our yard, obviously. And back through here, these are going to be our two shower blocks at the back. So those go through there. Then all of these here are my cells. Uh, this, so this is just our regular portion of the prison. And then up the top, these are going to be all my padded cells. So these are going to be all the separate different ones. So these ones actually add a different wall texture, which is kind of cool. So if you put these in, you can see the walls change and get all the pads all over it. Which I think is sweet. It's a nice little visual effect that they've done. And then we can also do... I don't know if this actually makes a difference. Uh, cater this to the safety need. Oh, it actually does. That makes it slow. Okay, so then we're, gonna, we're definitely going to do padded flooring in all of these. Quite expensive, but I think in the cells we definitely should do that. So throughout all of these, it's going to be all padded. I mean, ideally I'd like to do it through the whole thing, but that is so expensive. Uh, then the bathrooms, I always like to do some nice tiles. Oh, all of this should be tiles, I reckon. I don't know how far down the hall they're going to be able to go, so... I think for now I'll just tile down to here. I want to make the this room padded. I want to make the canteen padded. 
Four grand? I mean, I definitely didn't need to spend all my money on grass and floor tiles, but it looks cool, so that's why we did it. Uh, <laughs> so that's why we started doing that. Uh, okay, so then let's go through, we're gonna do all the cells. Well, actually, let's do the shower blocks first. Oh, what are all these? No hygienic bathroom is complete without one. Wait, do we need all this stuff? Goes perfect with the bathroom sink, indoor only, shower. Do we... Shower pillar. Oh, so you no longer have like floating showers. That's so cool! <laughs> Sorry, I'm excited. So we could do this. This is completely unnecessary. I just want to do it because it's new. Oh, it's not really gonna... Hang on, that layout won't work. So then if we did this, we're gonna have four showers like this. Oh, yeah! Look at that! But then we still, because we have, these are cell blocks of 10, so we only have 8 showers, and then I'll just do a couple in the middle. <laughs> Basically, I just did those because it was new. Sweet. Uh, failed shower head. It's, wait, you can't put drains under showers anymore? Oh, doormats? So wait, if these can't go under showers anymore, what do you, how do you, do we just put them here at the exit of the room, I guess? All right, well, I want to complete the basic detention center so we get another 10 grand because then we can move on and stop worrying about our money getting a little bit lower. I mean, our money is perfectly fine. We actually have loads, but still, like, I would, I would rather, like, sort of get at least a stage one done. So I'm going to have a door here for the kitchen so we can get deliveries through because we'll have the storage room here. It'll come through. I'm gonna keep that jail door there just for security purposes though, because otherwise prisoners can sort of break through and get out a little bit easier. Bleachers! Classic prison yard bleachers for groups of inmates- What? Dude! Look at all this- Oh my god, there's so much stuff! I didn't even know all of this was added. This is so cool. Table small? Oh, well, I guess it makes sense if you have small benches, but still! Oh. All right, let's, let's assign these rooms. So this is gonna be the- <laughs> so I'm gonna carry it out. That's gonna be the kitchen. Canteen is over here. Now, I was originally gonna have a wall there for like a hallway, but I don't think there's any point really. We might as well just make all of that the canteen. And then I'm gonna set this to storage right now, so if they need to start moving stuff, they can put it in there. I really don't like them walking through there. Isn't there a way to stop them doing that? I think maybe it's through logistics or something you can set up pathways. Because right now they're all gonna walk through there, which is really annoying. Well, anyway, we'll, we'll sort that out later. Okay, so we're gonna do a little layout of cooker, cooker, and then fridges on the end like this. And then we want some sinks, which will go over here. That's how I planned it out. I don't- do we need anything else in the kitchen here? Sprinkler? Oh yeah, for fires, that's probably a good idea. How many do you need? I don't really know. Let's just do two, that'll probably be okay. Uh, is there anything else we need for the kitchen? Oh, bin would be useful, I guess. Uh, I don't really have a little cranny for it. Now, they can just walk over items, so we could just shove it in, but... I guess I'll put it there. There's not really much room for it, but whatever. Okay, that's gonna go there. Utilities, let's actually start getting some pipes and stuff in now. So this can come out this way. And then come down along here, and then it's going to come along here, obviously out over to the uh, cell blocks, which I'll run along here. Now, in case you're unaware, our prisoners can use the pipes to tunnel through a little bit easier. Small pipes prevent it for the most part. Well, no, they don't prevent it, but they can't really dig through small pipes as well. So if we can use these as much as possible, it's going to be a lot better. I'm gonna run those up here, then run across the back for the showers, then across here a little bit, and like that. And I guess we'll plan out these. I wasn't- I'm not planning on building this uh, cell block up top right away, just because I want to make sure we have enough money. So the sinks will be back there. Alright, so that should all get built soon. I mean, they're still cutting down trees over here. That's still- <laughs> that operation is still going on day seven. Alright, so they're building all those pipes. In the meantime, let's get stuff for the canteen here as well. So we're gonna get a serving table here. I guess we'll get one in the middle here, maybe one over this side. It's kind of kind of unorthodox layout here, then I'll get a bin next to it as well. And then we're gonna- oh, I want to use the small tables just because they're cool, they're new, you know? That's why I want to use them. Oh, bench small. Yeah, look at these. Sweet! I love it! Definitely unnecessary for me to do this, uh, given the fact that we could just use bigger tables, but I love it. <laughs> yeah, here we go. Look at all this. Get plenty of tables in here as well. Hang on, not there. This goes here. Plenty of tables in there as well. Get the serving tables. We've got more room up the top as well. That should be all good. Make sure they do this. I have to keep prioritizing this, otherwise they keep cutting down trees. Yes, I could have just hired more staff years ago. Well, not years ago. Days ago. A week ago, I could have hired more staff, but we're spending less money. It just takes more time. That's all. All right, we're gonna start uh, plugging in all this stuff too, and this is probably gonna start draining our power. So we're gonna need probably some more capacitors. Actually, it might be okay. We're not doing too bad, but I'll get a couple more just to be safe. Oh, I forgot the sprinklers also need uh, plumbing. All right, let's get into those here and here. There we go. Beautiful. 
All right, so this is starting to look pretty good. I don't know what happened to all my cables here. They seem to have just got a bunch of gaps in it at some point. I, I, I don't know. I think when they build stuff, sometimes it sort of skips a few of them. Anyway, we'll just do that. So that should power up all of this. Then we can actually get these cells built. Uh, we just need to hire two. We don't even need the cells for this. That's actually for a detention block, but we're going to do that now. So we're going to get all this stuff in. Man, I should have put the toilets in the middle. I kind of made a mistake there. But anyway, the toilet's going to go on the outside. Because it just means that they can, because they can tunnel from a toilet. So it means they sort of have a closer area to get out. But I guess in the middle here, it's okay. And I usually like having the bed visible from the door, but now it's kind of off to the side. So that's a whole thing too, but whatever. Their bed is right next to their toilet, so who cares? All right, so that's going to go in there. Uh, beautiful. Those will be nice completed cells right there. We'll get those done. We're going to work on the psych ward. Oh, look at the psych ward over here now. This is great. Got these beautiful padded cells, the tiles everywhere and the rest of the place. Uh, that will, we'll have to get onto that soon because we've got to get the grant, but we kind of need, I feel like we need the regular prison up and running first too. So we got to be careful here. Uh, I might actually pave this area because whenever they walk over the deliveries, it's going real slow. So I might use some paving sand over the delivery so they go a bit faster. The same goes for the exports and garbage. So we're going to do this whole area here too. And hopefully that will just speed everything up. Very nice. Oh, it's actually nighttime. You know what? Now that it's nighttime, let's have a look at these um, floodlights because I want to see this. So we got this big floodlight. So if we flip it around, how much area does it light up if we put it like here, for example, or here? Let's get two. I want to see. Oh, that's pretty good. So if we got a bunch of those and started lighting up this whole area, that's pretty cool. Oh, yeah. Kind of wish I put them sort of more over this way though because now the pathway isn't lit. I mean, this is also pretty expensive, so I don't know what, how good of an investment this really is, but it's going to look cool. Also, they might need to be closer. We might need to run some power lines for these ones. I don't know how far away they can be powered. Oh, they seem fine, actually. It's got one dark patch in the middle. That's pretty good. Hell yeah. All right, should we just complete this? Let's get a couple of staff here. Let's get a couple of guards and a couple of cooks. That'll complete that. Let's grab another grant. Let's get the uh, basic, well, let's get administration center, actually, and then we'll do the... Eventually cell block A. I guess we have to do fine. Oh, we have to do finance first? Okay, fine. Let's do administration center. We haven't even run through all these basic ones yet, man. We gotta do all this. Build two offices. Hi we don't even have a warden yet. What am I doing? I don't know. Anyway, so these are gonna be my offices over here. That was the idea. So we're gonna go rooms. Uh, let's go for office. I'm just gonna do all of these at once. There we go. And then flooring. Oh, look at the flooring we can do. Should we do like brown carpet? That's kind of gross. I do like blue though. Limestone? Let's do a brown office there, brown office here, and then two blue offices. Oh, yeah, that's gonna be cool. Moose head, lamp, cactus, wooden stool. All right, what do we need now? Is it just the usual? Oh, you can use a wooden stool for the desk. I want a moose head in this one. <laughs> Wait, how much was that? 500 bucks! Why did I spend $500 on that? <laughs> Get a little cactus in this one. Let's give him, give him some cactus. I was trying to say character, but with cactus in it, it didn't really work. Guard pavilion corner. Oh, what the heck? Oh, man. Oh, coat stand. Yeah. <laughs> what does this even do? Perfect resting place for staff coats and hats. Indoor only. I don't think it actually does anything. I assume it doesn't. It doesn't sound like it does. Oh, gravestone. Supplied for every death that takes place in your prison. Really? Huh. Bar oh, barbed wire? Wait, you can just like place this? Oh, wait. Is that Maybe it goes on fence. Oh, yeah. Hell yes, absolutely. Oh my god, that was expensive. That was way- Okay, I did not really think about that. Do I need to rotate it? Yeah. Put it there. I mean, we might as well put it on the fence. Why not? It was expensive. I've already done it now, so whatever. And then, actually, this is really cool. They've added bridges now, too, so you can bridge over a road. That's actually super cool, so you don't have to do road gates anymore for prisoners. I think that is actually going to be really, really awesome. Right, let's get a warden, because we need that. Can I get them in the Moosehead office? Oh, I guess the offices aren't complete yet. Hang on, let me um, let me actually remove these ones. Oh, hang on, no, no, don't, don't do whatever I was just doing. Uh, I wanted to remove the room. Okay, it's not doing it, so let's just do this. Okay, that is already the warden's office, that's great. Uh, did I cancel all this carpet or something? Because he's not getting any carpet. Oh, it's supposed to be a brown office. Maybe it can be red office. Fine, you have red carpet, because you're cool. Yeah, I think I cancelled carpet along the way here, so it's kind of messed up a little bit. There we go. Is there any other carpet? I know, apparently this is my new thing, is just doing different floors everywhere. So that's pretty cool. Uh, I don't know what to do with the hallways at the moment, so I've kind of just left it. Anyway, we've got the warden. Uh, what else do we need to do for this? Unlock finance through bureaucracy. Okay, let's go for finance. Probably a good idea. And we kind of just need everything, really. Maintenance would probably be good. You know, health and legal and 
Micromanagement gives you the tools to micromanage aspects of your prison so they meet your exact requirements. Yeah, we kind of just need all of this. Let's just do it one by one though. Let's just do finance. All right, we still got a few trees out here, a few stragglers. So let's get on these guys. Come on, let's remove those trees. They're still not done after like a week and a half almost. <laughs> They'll get there. They'll get there. Meantime, we are still doing our finance research and then we can get an accountant in here, which would be great. And also we need a research cleaning because this place is disgusting. All right, cool. We've got the, uh, the finance person. So let's get them in. The accountant. There you go. Uh, you decided to take that office instead. I mean, this one had a cactus in it. That's got nothing interesting, but sure. Right, so what do you want me to do now? We've got the accountant. Let's get uh, cell block A, because I feel like we've kind of half done that. Uh, we just need to get up to 15. So let's just do a couple more cells up here. Well, I guess we might as well go up to 20. I was only going to do five, but <laughs> it's like, why, why wouldn't we just do all of them? Oh yeah, did I want to do any of the sinks and hand dryers? I guess not. I didn't really do that. Uh, I, I, th I think if we start building more like toilets around the place, because we sometimes do that, uh, maybe we'll look into doing more of that stuff. All right, there we go. Got another 20 grand. We're back up to 73, which is great. Let's have a look at another. You can see cell block B, get up to 50. Let's not do that just yet. Inmate health and well-being. That's medical ward. That's all that kind of stuff. Visitation rights. I think I might leave the first part here because obviously we don't have anyone yet. Um, but I think we, we've got a good start to the prison. Uh, and then in the next part, we can actually get prisoners in and start running things and then start adding stuff that way. Uh, but I think we have got a good baseline we just need a few things still. I mean, like everything. We need cleaners. Can we? We should probably research some more stuff actually, real quick. Let's do maintenance, then cleaning after that, I guess, because this place, this place is so gross. Let's do that. I guess we'll wait for that and then we'll do some other stuff. Anyway, I'm going to leave this part here. Thanks for watching, guys. I will see you next time. Make sure to leave your comments, suggestions, and feedback down below. I'm excited to see where this goes. I'll see you next time and have an awesome day.